Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with yet another Adobe XD tutorial. And in this one, we are going to take a look at actually two tools, which is going to be the line tool and the polygon tool. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. So let's start actually with the line tool. So the line tool has a default shortcut of the letter uh, L. And uh, you know what it does is, well, what it says it's, is what it does. It creates line. So for instance, if I want to create a line, I'm just going to click and drag to create a line like this one. Of course, when doing so, we can also just hold down the shift key to create uh, like a straight line to constrain the, uh, the proportions. And of course, if you let go of the shift key, you're going to be able to create a line that, you know, that is a bit more free in its, in its movement. But if I, again, hold down the shift key right now, I'm going to create, as you can see, a line um, that it's, uh, well, it's kind of been put here in, uh, in some increments, like 45 uh, degree increments. Of course, you can also hold down the, the Alt key or Option if you're on a Mac to create a line from the center. And if, I, if, if we hold down the shift key as well, we're going to create a straight line from the center spot. So if we take a look at the properties inspector, you can see that here we can, of course, control only the border. We don't have a fill. And uh, of course, we can change the size of our line. And by the way, I think I'm going to make it like super, super thick so that we can see other uh, aspects of, of this line a bit easier. So we can also create like a dashed line. And in here, we can set the dash to, I don't know, let's say like 10. And then we can set the gap as well. So let's say I'm going to do something like 100. It's going to make the gap really, really, really big. And uh, I don't think I need that. But I also um, would like to, for instance, be able to control what the endpoints look like. So by default, we're gonna you're going to see that you have this butt cap as, uh, <laughs> as your endpoint. But you can also create like a round cap. And also you could create a projecting cap, which is basically going to create like something basic like the pod cap. So we got like just, you know, like abruptly ending these two <laughs> endpoints. But when we add the projecting cap, it's basically the same, but it's going like a bit more to the left and to the right in this case. I'm going to set my border back to two. And uh, I'm going to grab this color. And by the way, if you are wondering what this design is, it's basically a design uh, that I'm using in my course on Adobe XD, to which the link you can find in the description uh, below. So this is the, uh, the line tool. So now let's take a look at the polygon tool. So the polygon tool has a default shortcut of the letter Y. And with this shape, you can create like triangles, uh, rectangles, uh, squares, well, and of course, uh, polygons. So when creating it, you know, uh, the rule basically is the same. When you hold down the shift key, you can constrain uh, the, well, the size and the proportion of sides. If you hold down the, the alt key, you're going to create it from the center spot. Now, one distinctive uh, thing about this uh, tool is that when you are creating a shape and then when you press the up arrow key, you're going to be adding the sides. And if you're going to be pressing the down arrow key, you're going to be decreasing the number the, uh, of sides. And by the way, take a look at the, uh, the properties inspector. Why not, when I am pressing the up arrow key or down arrow key, you can see that the number of sides is also changing in the properties inspector. So I'm going to go back to three. And by the way, you can always do it right here in the properties inspector. So with the shape selected, I'm just going to type in three. And there we go. We got a uh, triangle. Now next to it, we got the corner radius value. So we can set it right here, but we can also just grab this guy right here, this home marker, and we can simply change the corner radius value right here. And here on the far right, we got the star ratio value. That uh, is like mm, one of two ways of creating a star here out of this polygon shape. If I just start to manipulate this guy, I'm just going to start dropping it down. You can see that we are slowly creating a star that is going to look well something like this. But uh, another way of creating a star out of this shape is that when we hover over this guy, you can see that we got this little mark right here. And when I hover over it, uh, like next to my cursor, there's a little, little star icon uh, being displayed. And if I just click and drag, you can see that we are creating a star shape. And again, that star ratio value right here in the properties inspector is changing. 
and this shape is like it remains dynamic so if i want to have like a five uh, point star i can just add the sides and we got we got our star so let's say that i would just want to create like a i don't know add to favorites icon right here we can simply do that so i'm just going to bring this guy down and a bit more and i can just then maybe grab this fill like sample this color like that i don't need the border and then i can simply just put my star somewhere like here you know it's uh, it's not about making this design perfect but it's you no know, it's more like about showing you how we can simply create a star shape uh, like this using the polygon tool so there you go this is how you can use the line tool and the polygon tools if you've been using other pieces of software like illustrator maybe or some other pieces of software some of the techniques that i've just showed you might be familiar uh, to you which is actually a good thing because you will be able to start using these tools much much faster